this is the approach school wire to the Crossroads Traverse. Where if you're doing it in much drier conditions than this, because in recent years there have been a few serious accidents with rock fall coming down the cool wire. So now is probably a good time to put my helmet on. So that was the crux 4A chimney. It's not 4A. 3A maybe. it as well moving together so abseiling is pretty unnecessary just whack a couple of nuts in and down climb it Summit. Slightly lower than the other one, but not by much. It's pretty much the end of the route now. Just a short scramble down this final section of ridge, and then a long glissade down the snow slope to Lap Blanc, which is still covered in snow and ice. Crazy bit of July. If you want to move fast in this route, it's well worth coming in the afternoon like I have now, where you'll largely have it to yourself. Come here first thing in the morning, you're absolutely round with guides, you'll be stuck by them in all the crooks little bits. But if you are coming here for a full day, want to make a bit more of a day of it, I highly recommend continuing along the ridge onto the Gila Belvedere. The ridge itself is slightly easier than what we've just done. There's one short section of 3B ish climbing, but it's very slow level. The rest of it is just scrambling. But the Gila Belvedere is the highest point in the Aguille Rouge so it's well worth summiting and yeah makes for a much bigger much longer alpine day so yeah I'd highly recommend it. Depending on the snow conditions and what gear you brought with you you can descend onto the snow slope right here just about five meters from the top of that summit or continue about 50 meters further along the ridge there's a little notch slightly hidden from view here and then you get onto a much more easy angled snow slope and might need to do a little repel to get down onto it, but then if you're on that steep snow, so you haven't got axe or anything, it's a bit safer. 